like what in the world <laughs> the last two days it was like warm and sunny i'm not even joking today there's snow on the ground like i don't understand i'm so confused and like mildly upset about it anyway i'm going to feed these <laughs> pitiful hungry starving animals <laughs> I wanted to homestead for years before we actually were in a place where we could do it, both in our personal lives, in our family's lives, and financially, because believe it or not, these little guys right here, these little girls, <laughs> cost some money. So I'm gonna get them fed so that they're not like starving <laughs> or acting like they're starving. And we're gonna talk about this. <laughs> I had to lock up the other two because they're naughty and they steal food from these two. <laughs> Do you ever feel like when you're putting eggs in your pocket, you're like, you know, playing the lottery or like <laughs> taking this huge chance that they could get crushed. So far, so good. But now that I said it, Lord, don't let these eggs break in my pockets. Too cold for all that. Is this the house of my dreams? <laughs> um, I can't really say. I grew up and said, when I grow up, I want to live in a 1995 single wide mobile home can't say I ever said that <laughs> and I can guarantee there's probably people out there who didn't either but we grow up our dreams our hopes our goals become adultish <laughs> and I quick we, we quickly realized this was a decision my husband and I had to make we quickly realized that we did not want to be under this huge blanket of debt we wanted to own land. I wanted goats. <laughs> and we wanted to grow our own food. We wanted more time with our children, more time in the ministry. So what is it going to take for you to get there? To becoming a homesteader. Start where you are. For me, for our family and our situation, Starting where we are meant buying a single wide mobile home, pulling it onto our land and completely fixing it up. But our dream doesn't have to look like yours. Our dream isn't necessarily yours. I dream of having a cabin in the woods and one day I'm going to get there. But in the meantime, there's steps and things I have to take to get there. Take a look at where you're at. Examine your goals and examine the steps that you can take to get to where you want to be. Come and share your thoughts. <laughs> I get excited and passionate about this because I feel like people are so quick to like blow this off. They want that American dream. Sure. They want that house, that custom house, or they want this or they want that. And I'm not, I'm not downing any of that. But I think if we just stripped all that away and got down to the core and the root of what we want in this life, whether that's the house in the subdivision in the gated community or the mobile home on 36 acres, if we stripped all that away and just looked yeah. at what is my dream and how do we get there? Oh, it's my turn? Yeah. Oh, I just wanted to say, I just wanted to encourage folks today. I know she was talking 
Life is full of processes. The book of Matthew talks about not worrying about tomorrow. Let tomorrow worry about itself. And really, that's kind of the outlook that we have. We have a greater goal in mind, but we try to take every day, enjoy our family, enjoy what we have, what we've been blessed with, and be okay with the process. Sometimes it's good and sometimes it's bad. This process for us has been different and it might uh, in some ways not look like how I wanted it to or imagined, but I've enjoyed uh, every step of the way. Um, so I want to encourage you today, you might not be able to right now do all of the things that you want to do, but maybe take a step back and look at what you do have. And I believe when you do that, you'll find that you're more blessed than you even imagined. Um, so take that step back today. Enjoy your family. Don't be concerned what's going on in the world. You're more blessed than you even imagine. And again, just look at what you have. You might, again, you might not be able to afford to buy more land. And you might not be able to do the things that we have, uh, have done. But you do have a part. You do have a portion that you are able to accomplish. I believe that. I believe in you. And uh, I want to encourage you today. That's it. That's all. All right. <laughs> so Aaron is heading to town. The kids are cooking breakfast, which is like a great treat for me. <laughs> Loki cooks sausage. I cook eggs. And that's how we do it. It's pretty we're awesome. Like a, we're like a thing, so <laughs> we Grace do it. Grace just really want an egg, though. Oh, okay. <laughs> she just wants sausage. sausage. I hope you found encouragement here. The goal of this channel is we want to leave you with hope and encouragement so that no matter what road or journey you're on, you find that along the way because that is so important. To have hope and to be encouraged are two great gifts that we have in this life. Thank you for following along. Thank you for all the support and encouragement that you give us. And we will definitely see you on the next video. Can I say bye? Bye! bye. bye. <laughs> yes, it's a big thumbs up. Yes, a big thumbs up, Luke says. <laughs>